Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Olivia, I make content about veganism and animal rights activism. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about um, a company called Elwood's Organic Dog Meat. For anyone who hasn't come across this organization before, they are a business located in the USA who sell dog meat and milk products, such as Labrador steaks, pug bacon, uh, golden retriever milk, and so much more. The farm really promotes the fact that the dogs are treated very well, it's organic, the dogs don't get any antibiotics, and of course, that they're slaughtered humanely. If the idea of dogs in a slaughterhouse still sounds horrific to you, then you don't need to worry, because Elwood's organic dog meat doesn't actually exist. There is no pug bacon or golden retriever milk or any of the other things that they have on their website. It is actually a form of animal rights activism, and it's designed to make people consider the idea of speciesism. Speciesism, for anyone who doesn't know, is discrimination or prejudice based on species. So I found Elwood's organic dog meat through their Instagram page, and like most people, before I realised that it's fake, um, I was upset, I was outraged, and I was furious that there seemed to be this legitimate business that was really making profit out of selling dog meat and milk products. And I remember just harbouring this real feeling of disgust that there could be such a business out there. And for me, it was very, very similar to the way I feel about seeing um, other more conventional animal farms on social media, such as, you know, organic dairy farms and things like that. But then when I understood the concept and I realised that it was actually fake, I began to see just how powerful this form of activism can be. And then I read the comments on their Facebook and Instagram posts and I began to like this form of activism even more. In the comments, vegans basically support and verify the business by commenting almost the exact same things that non-vegans comment on vegans' posts. You know, for example, things like, but animals taste good, but it's my personal choice to eat XYZ, or um, the animals have been bred for this specific purpose, or they were humanely slaughtered. All of these justifications that we as vegans hear over and over again have been used in the comments of these posts to make people see just how ridiculous they are. So uh, when we get onto the website, the first thing that we see is that Elwood's organic dog meat has been family owned and operated for over two generations. We are dedicated to offering our friends and neighbours the best sustainably raised dog meat available. So we can already see that Elwoods is trying to um, make a parody of the language and the phrases that the meat and dairy industry use on their websites in order to promote their products. So we have here a list, it says, our dogs are free range, local, organic, fresh, never frozen, free from antibiotics, sustainably raised, humanely slaughtered and loved. By using these words such as, you know, organic, local, free range and humanely slaughtered, they're trying to paint this idea of this um, farming experience that um, is high welfare. And it's another example of humane washing. And we see this all the time in the meat, dairy and egg industries. These words make consumers feel better about buying the body parts of a dead animal who did not want to die. So then when you scroll down on their website a bit more, it has this uh, title that is, if Elwood's organic dog meat upsets you, please consider that. Dogs on Elwood's organic dog meat farm were bred for food. Eating dogs is a personal choice. Some people prefer the taste of dogs. Dogs offer amazing nutritional benefits. Roasted lab has become a family holiday tradition. Dogs don't really feel pain and this is our livelihood. And of course, these are all the same excuses that people use to justify eating animal products. I mean, how many times have we heard, but it's my personal choice to eat meat, dairy and eggs. And of course they've got here, uh, this is our livelihood, which is to suggest that these dog farmers would be out of a job if uh, people didn't buy their dog meat. And when people read the these uh, justifications just in the context of a dog instead of a more conventionally killed animal. It shows you very clearly that these justifications don't stand up well at all because dogs are sentient individuals, they can feel pain, they can suffer, and they will fight for their lives if given the chance, much like, of course, all the other animals that we more conventionally kill. So then if you click on the breeds section on the Elwoods website, you'll see that there are lots of different pictures of different breeds of dogs, and each one is supposed to parallel a different animal that is being exploited in the animal agriculture industries. So for example, we have Labrador steaks, and um, they state that we slaughter most labs between 18 and 22 months. And of course, this is supposed to parallel the beef industry. And then next to that, we've got pug bacon. 
and pug bacon is supposed to parallel the pork industry. Once they've given birth, we move them to farrowing crates that separate her from her young puglets. And of course, this is bringing attention to the horrific practice of keeping mother pigs in farrowing crates, um, which are still present on up to 60% of British farms. I think what they've done on this bit of their website is really powerful. They have paralleled each one of these abusive industries with a different breed of dog. But of course, whether it's a dog or a dairy cow or a, a cow or a pig or a chicken, it doesn't matter because all of these animals share the fundamental qualities of being conscious, sentient, and having the ability to suffer. And this is what matters. And then when you click on the resources and the FAQs tab, you get much more information about the concept behind the business, as well as lots of vegan resources and links, and more information, of course, to describe the industries that they're trying to advocate against. Okay, so their most recent Instagram post uh, says, remember, the corporations, media, and governments want you to go plant-based. That fact alone should be reason enough to eat more dog meat instead. Someone has, okay, so here's one really good example. Someone has commented, if we don't keep farming dogs, they'll go extinct. That's what those vegans want, for dogs to go extinct. But we care about animals, that's why we eat them. This is a real excuse that real people use to justify eating meat, dairy, and eggs. Someone has commented, we support our local family farms. Those puppies do look cute, but it's the way of nature. We literally have no other choice than to eat them. It's the food chain. And what better source than an ethical family farm like yours? <laughs> Somebody commented, defo one of those triggered vegan pages that thinks cows and dogs are equal. Why are cows and dogs not equal? They both matter in the ways that matter. They both are sentient. They both deserve moral consideration. Somebody commented, I hope this page is a satire and not really selling literal dog meat because that is so wrong and fucked up. Somebody said, I love buying humane dog meat from Elwoods. I was vegetarian for years, but you made me realize I can eat meat and still be a good person. Someone said, it's ethical as long as they were free range. It's interesting. There's so many people that comment things like, you know, you guys are all messed up, you, um, this is not funny. And it's like, but how many of these people are going home and paying for dairy products and meat products and the abuse of extremely similar animals who also want to live? It's just amazing how visceral and emotional people can get when it comes to abuse of dogs and cats and animals that are more conventionally in our homes, but can completely overlook so many other animals who also deserve the same moral consideration. Somebody commented, you're sick, hope you'll burn in hell. So clearly from reading the comments, we can see that some people get it and some people haven't realized that it's satire yet. And some people still think that it's truthful. Someone was like, sick, just sick. And Elwoods commented, excuse you, we're organic. But I think it's good that Elwoods is clearly like doing it professional enough and clearly has enough credibility to actually seem like a legitimate dog meat farm. So finally, I want to consider why this type of activism works. I think what the concept of Elwood's organic dog meat farm does very well is that it takes people through a series of steps in order to finally confront their cognitive dissonance. So the first step is that it makes people feel outraged and disgusted that there is this seemingly legitimate business that is actually making money off selling dog meats. And of course, this content will mainly be received received by people from Western countries, such as America and the UK, in which um, eating dogs is culturally unacceptable. People who do eat dogs are looked down upon. After all, our dogs are our friends, they are our loving companions, we know that they have individual personalities and that they can suffer. And then the idea of a business that is making money off of systematically harming dogs is a crazy and horrible idea. And then of course there's step two, which is when you realise that Elwood's organic dog meat doesn't actually exist and it's fake. Now initially you feel relieved of course, that this isn't actually happening to these dogs. But then the most important thing happens, and that is step three, in which you are forced to confront your cognitive dissonance. If you felt furious and outraged when you thought that this business was actually selling dog meat products, but then you're complacent and actively pay for the very same abuses and exploitation to happen to very similar animals who are just 
just as conscious as dogs, just as able to feel pain, just as able to suffer, and in some cases even more intelligent, then you're being a massive hypocrite. And then step four, once you have found out that Elwoods doesn't actually exist and that it's just a form of activism, you then go back and engage with their content in a very different way. You start to see these terms such as organic, humanely slaughtered and free range as marketing ploys and you draw parallels with the way that these terms are used in the meat, dairy and egg industries. And hopefully you begin to see that things like pug bacon and Labrador steaks are no worse and no more immoral than steaks made from a cow or bacon that comes from a pig. And maybe you even begin to see other social media pages from actually legitimate farms and you begin to view these farms with the same contempt and anger that you initially had for Elwoods. Overall, I think Elwoods is really onto something here because this type of activism is powerful and it uses emotion to help people bridge the cognitive dissonance in their brains. It gets people angry and then it flips these emotions on their head and it gets people to consider the fact that they eat and wear other sentient individuals. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, definitely give Elwoods a follow on Instagram or Facebook and uh, check their website out. There's lots of good resources there as well if you want to learn more about veganism and um, the animal rights movement. And follow my Instagram, Olive the Vegan, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to hear more from me.